Hi everybody, I can't believe I'm saying this, but welcome to California. Before I fill you in on some of the things I've experienced over the last few days since I landed on this side of the world, let's go back and really quickly recap the adventure that we've been on together so far. If you've just found my channel, then welcome. I'm Fraser and I spent the majority of last year on a sabbatical from the corporate world, traveling all around the world by cruise ship. What that means is that I have got to see some pretty amazing places and I cannot wait to keep showing you more here on my YouTube channel. Some of my highlights so far, we've been to Mykonos, we've been to Santorini, we've experienced Rome, Barcelona, we went out to Dubai, where we also got to see Abu Dhabi, we've been to Naples, we've been to Sardinia, you get the picture, I could go on and on and on. But anyway, let's fast forward to where we are right now. I am in California and I'm having an absolute ball. Since I arrived here one week ago, I've been so lucky to get to the Hollywood Bowl. I've been to Disneyland, I've been to Six Flags, and yes, I did ride on multiple of these roller coasters. I've been to Santa Monica Pier where I got to watch the sunset, which was absolutely beautiful. Venice Beach, I've eaten so much amazing food. I can't even begin to explain the level of eating I've been doing since coming to America. Now, all of that, and then, fast forward to right now, I am coming to you from the Hyatt Regency Long Beach. I know, pretty fancy for me, huh? So anyway, join me and let's get started on the next part of my incredible adventure. Guys, welcome back. Now today, I am so excited to be coming to you from a new port, a new cruise line, and a new cruise ship for me. So welcome to Los Angeles, California. And today, we're heading off on my first ever carnival cruise. Now, I'm not even going to spend any time talking to you here right now because I cannot wait to get out. I can see the ship from my hotel room window. So look, let's go. Let's get down to the port and I'll catch up with you properly once we get on board. Before we head over to the port, let me tell you a little bit about where I've been spending the last few nights. This is the Hyatt Regency and this is one of the closest hotels to the cruise port. Now I know what you're thinking, you wouldn't usually splurge out on a pre-cruise stay. What's happened here? Well, to be honest, this is probably the furthest that I've ever been from home getting on a cruise ship. I thought, first time cruising out of California, let's enjoy embarkation day. And what better way to do it than somewhere like this? I have had the time of my life, to be perfectly honest with you, exploring some of California before getting on this ship and what a beautiful hotel to base yourself from. If you're looking for accommodation close to Long Beach Cruise Terminal, I can absolutely recommend the Hyatt Regency. And look at my room. The room that I chose to book here was a king corner room overlooking the harbour. The main reason that that was the room that was chosen was the view, which was absolutely unbelievable. Let me take you over to the window and give you a closer look. Yes, that is the Queen Mary. And yes, that is a cruise ship. That's not Carnival Panorama, that was taken yesterday. But let me show you Carnival Panorama, which I was able to spot with my morning coffee this morning. Anyway, let's get back to it. Let's pass along all of those palm tree covered highways into the cruise terminal, and then let's get out of this Uber. Now, if you're cruising from Los Angeles, you've got two cruise ports that you could embark at. You've got the Port of Los Angeles, which is about a 15 minute taxi from where we are today, or you've got this terminal, which is called the Long Beach Cruise Terminal, and this is owned and operated by the Carnival Corporation. Now, I cannot wait to show you this. I could not believe this cruise terminal when I got inside. I have never been in a cruise terminal so fun in my entire life. There are palm trees everywhere. It's like you're in a park. There's these gaming machines. There's huge big pictures of cruise ships. It is so interesting in here. I had such a good check-in experience. Never ever seen anything like it. And even this check-in area gave a really, really good idea of the fact that this ship that we're boarding today is very different to others that I've been on so far. And straight away, I knew to expect something pretty fun. 
Anyway, let's get up this gangway, let's get on the ship. I'll leave you a few clips of what it looked like when I got on board, and I'll see you in the cabin. And just like that, I am on the ship. So yeah, bit of an unusual start to today's vlog because I'm actually speaking to you on the ship. But in this video, in case you haven't already gathered, I'm gonna introduce you to my experience with Carnival Cruises. Embarkation today was absolutely brilliant. Now, I've never cruised out of the Long Beach Cruise Terminal for Carnival before, but that place is brilliant. There was, I mean, there were queues, but they all moved through really well. The terminal building itself is absolutely amazing and it's so well themed. I really, really enjoyed that embarkation today. Now, I've got into my cabin and I had a bit of a mix up with my booking on this one, which unfortunately caused a bit of stress last night, but <laughs> we don't have to go into that, it's all sorted. Now, I had originally booked an inside cabin for this cruise, but just due to the back and forth I had last night, and yeah, long story short, but my booking got cancelled the day before, it got reinstated, nobody knows where the issue was, but there was a lot of chaos happening in my hotel room last night. So, um, the nice thing here is that I'm in an Ocean View cabin now, so the room that I've got is way, 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 way down on deck one of the ship, but what I'll do, I'm going to jump around to the other side of the camera, and I want to give you a quick walk around this room, because I've seen a cabin similar to this on a Costa ship about two or three months ago and it's got one feature of it that I always feel it's such a novelty. So let me jump around and show you guys what we're dealing with here. So obviously where I've just been talking to you from is on this sofa here. And then if we spin around, you've then got the bed, you've got the TV and then you've got the window. So if I show you what's just outside here, Anyone that is familiar with Long Beach will know that the Queen Mary has been bought. So the Queen Mary is sitting right there and is now a floating hotel. Now, what I can tell you, because you'll be seeing this one as I get off the ship, I'm actually staying on there next week, which I cannot... Honestly, I can't wait for it. It's such a bucket list one. So I'm spending a night on there, which I will be reviewing and showing you guys every bit of detail of what you can expect if you think about that. Anyway, bed looks good. I mean, it's not it's not a luxurious room, but at the end of the day, Carnival doesn't paint itself as a luxurious cruise line. So what I'm feeling so far is that you kind of, you get what it says on the tin, if that makes sense. Um, now over here, you've got water, the water you pay extra for. So it says, sometimes you get thirsty, <laughs> $4.25, great. So I will be filling up my trusty water bottle upstairs, which ironically is a Royal Caribbean one from last week, but hey. <laughs> And then you've got various bits of paperwork here that I'll walk you through when we come back to the cabin after sail away. Now, pretty decent mirror. It's, all, it's pretty modern, actually. You've got loads of storage. So you've got one here with the safe and some cupboard space. You've then got, excuse my suitcase, but you've got um, one here and one here, which, um, yeah, plenty of room. Now, if I come around here, this is the thing that blew my mind on the Costa ship. Obviously I'm in my cabin right now and usually there's only one door other than the door out into the hall, which is that one. And usually the other door is the bathroom. So if I show you in this one, this is so funny. If I show you in this one, you've got, yeah, pretty normal cruise ship bathroom. The blue is relatively offensive as is the shower curtain. I'm on a bit of a crusade to try and get rid of shower curtains on cruise ships, but I don't seem to be winning the fight so far. So <laughs> yeah. That'll be getting stuck to me throughout the week. But anyway, so you've got the normal bathroom in here. And then if I spin back around and show you this other door, any guesses as to what's in there? Well, I mean, you can't answer me because this is going to be <laughs> put on YouTube after. However, if I open this, there's a bath and a sink and another shower. So, yeah, I mean, I'm not too sure. Does it have a plug hole? 
Mm, yes, okay, fine, it's got a plug hole. I don't think I'll use that because I'm six foot. I wonder if I can put the camera down and try and show you. Uh, yes, I can. So, I'm wearing my microphone, so it should stretch. Yeah, so I'm six foot two-ish. And if I put my back at one side of the bath, I mean, my back's there, so I, I'm not going to have a bath here. So I, I don't actually know what this is. It's like a strange shower tub thing. Not sure of the benefit. However, I have an extra room, so maybe that's, I don't know. Is that a luxury for today? Um, <laughs> anyway, enough of that. I'm now back out of the bath. Now, room looks good. Let me just set you back up here and I'll come and chat to you for a little minute just before we head up to sail away. So, yes, I should now be back on... Yes, hello. Now, plan for today, it's, I mean, it's already 4.20 and we sail out of here at 4.30. So I'm about to experience my first ever carnival sail away, which is meant to be something to remember. So I'll take you guys with me and show you what sail away looks like. After that, I'm going to come back down to the cabin to have a look through all the paperwork that's on the desk here and also just have a chat to you about some things that you might want to think about if you're embarking a carnival cruise, if you're embarking at Long Beach or actually if you're considering embarking on a cruise for the first time. So yeah, enough from me right now. Hopefully you've enjoyed a quick look at the room. Let's head up to the pool deck. Watch us as we sail out of what should be a beautiful... Oh, we're already moving. A beautiful port. So I'm going to run and I'll see you up on the top deck. For 29 and I find myself wondering What did happen to the last 10? I ran away with my life fast forward Never turn back again It's kind of funny that the more we pass time The more we need to set the rewind And 19 was the year I had to leave you But now I'm seeing all the signs Is this really happening? I can't believe it's true just as surprised as you Is this really happening? I can't be too sure But one day I'll be yours again Life lessons come one in a dozen The other eleven you might be watching this video thinking, I thought Carnival was really fun. What you're showing me here just looks like any sail away that I would experience from any other city, anywhere else in the world. Where are all the people? Where's the party? Where's the fun? Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's go to the main pool and look at this. I have never, ever in all of the cruises I've been on, I've never seen a sail away party, so busy. Every single level here, there are three entire decks full of people crowded around every single railing ready to see this ship off. It was so fun. The thing that blew my mind is everybody seemed to know the same dance. I haven't ever seen the dances that these people were all doing perform before, so I don't know if it's a carnival thing and these people are all loyal carnival cruisers or Maybe it's an American thing and I just haven't seen it before. Or maybe it is a really normal thing that I just have absolutely no idea about. Let me know in the comments if you recognise any of these dances because I had no idea what was going on at any point of this. But it was so much fun. Now let me leave you with a couple of shots of what it looked like during this sail away party. And then I think you'll be quite surprised when I show you how calm and quiet downstairs was before catching up with you back in the cabin.
and we're out. We are now at sea, heading out to Mexico, which, <laughs> yeah, as a British cruiser, the thought of leaving LA to head down to Mexico is amazing. So, yeah, anyway, look, I wanted to come back down and show you some of the paperwork. First of all, sail away. Wow, I mean, you probably got a bit of a feel from that video. Sail away up there was very, very different to any sail away that I've showed you before. That top deck was absolutely bouncing. I've never, ever experienced a top deck so busy, so full of life, with so many people having a good time. So, yeah. Anyway, I am now back down on deck one. To be honest, feeling like I need to nap to get over what has just happened. But... Anyway, no rest for the wicked, let's talk paperwork. So there's four documents that I'm going to walk you through, which were the four documents that when I showed you around the cabin earlier, they were sitting over on the desk. So let's get to work now. The first one is a really quick one to show you. I really like that they do this. So basically you've got a QR directory, which I'm hoping that you should be able to see, but you've got six different areas that you basically just have to open your phone camera and you can click on there to see your safety info, Bits about Wi-Fi, health and safety, the spa menu, any stuff about food allergies or anything about the loyalty program. So all of that is available on here. So we don't need to spend any time talking about that one. Next up, you've got a letter from the captain. Now, I actually do really like this. So this letter here is talking about like safety guidelines. It's basically just saying that we want everyone to feel included. We want everyone to feel welcome. So please respect each other and says on here, our experience has taught us that everyone has a better time with a spirit of community enabling us on board. So, yeah, any concerns, contact guest services. So, yeah, really, really like the fact that this is in everyone's cabin. And, yeah, certainly what I saw on the top deck, that was, that was an inclusive party. It's probably <laughs> the best way of putting it. Not a single person was left out up there. And, in fact, if you weren't dancing, the cruise director was was on your case. So yeah, definitely loving the vibe on here so far. Now the next document is just really useful as someone who's never cruised with Carnival, Carnival, I can hardly speak, Carnival before. Now this is just titled Good to Know up here and then you've got a whole host of different things on the front and also a whole host of different things on the back. Basically to just keep you right to make sure that you don't fall down any traps. So things like smoking, where can you do that on the ship? special needs so one thing that's really cool actually now this ship when we got on it's got a poster right at the front door that says this ship is proudly sensory certified is it and they have information about headphone usage and if you want to wear sunglasses and stuff indoors really impressive because I've, I've never seen like sensory ratings on things to this degree so it really really impressive now, other things on this bit of paper, you've got the code of conduct, you've got a couple of safety bits, you've also got how dining works, which I'll cover with you, to be honest, when I'm changed and ready to head back out, and then you've got all your useful numbers, so what do you do in a medical emergency, um, oh my goodness, where are the other medical, where are the other numbers, <laughs> there, what's the number for guest services, what's the number for the spa, so on and so forth. Now, that's just really useful, so what I do all the time is I always bring little magnets with me that, to be honest, I'll probably just put it on this wall and just stick it on there and then I just know where that information is if I need it. So yeah, always bring a magnet on a cruise if you haven't already figured. Now, last bit of document from documentation rather for me is probably the most important one. Now, this is called Fun Times and this is basically your daily schedule. So in here, you'll find information about everything that's going on out and around the ship each day. Now, yeah, a lot of people would look at this and think this is maybe the whole cruise, but no, no, this is only one day. So you've got everything on here, you've got all the information inside, and on the back, you've got all the information on the back as well. Now, a couple of things that Carnival are doing totally right. I absolutely love this. Now, you've got the sailing itinerary with what ports you go to. Anyone that has cruised before will know that sometimes when it gets to day three, you just forget what day it is, you forget where you're going tomorrow, you forget where you're going after that, and you forget even if tomorrow's a day at sea. So on the itinerary tab, which I'm hoping you can see if I hold it there, but if not, then I'll figure it out and put a better picture on. But the sailing itinerary shows you on here what day of your cruise you're on, followed by what the dress code is that evening, followed by what ports you're in, 
and then the other information that you've got at the side there is your estimated time of arrival and your estimated time back on board. Now, I am yeah, just such a big, big fan of this because it seems to be really, really comprehensive. I will put an overlay on the top of my voice now so that you can have a look through and you can pause it if you want to have a little bit of a closer look. But what I'm seeing right now, really, really impressed. Now, yeah, my plan for tonight, I'll walk you through as soon as I've had a shower because right now I feel as though, yeah, I've kind of come on this ship and... Yeah, I just need to freshen up and have a little bit of downtime, I think. Now, just before I do, a couple of top tips that I always say to people when they embark on a cruise ship. Number one top tip is always find out what the daily schedule looks like. Find out how the cruise ship works and find out, I guess, what kind of things you'd like to do with your time. Now, the reason why that's so important on day one is because if you can get in a routine on day one, then day two, day three, day four, day five, so on and so forth, will generally feel way more comfortable in my opinion so oh, yeah always look for the daily schedule and that will help you out the other bit of advice i always give relates to my little friend here now i don't have a drinks package on here and in fact i very rarely buy a drinks package on a cruise especially well this year that's true because i'm spending so long on ships if i'm only doing one or two cruises a year then i usually will take the package but I always think it's really important to have a look online and see what the alcohol policy is for your cruise line because this week, for example, I don't have a package but Carnival lets you bring one 750ml sealed bottle with you. So I've got a bottle of red wine because that is my absolute tipple and it means that like I won't bother tonight because I'm tired but in a couple of nights time then I've got a nice drink to chill out in my room with before heading out for dinner. So, yeah, the other reason why that is great is that, to be honest, if you're not wanting to drink very much, it'll save you quite a bit of money. So, this bottle of wine cost me like $15 or something to buy in LA, but per wine on here, it's probably not far off that, really. So, always just check what the rules are, and if you can bring one on board and you fancy a drink during the week, then why not? You're on holiday and you're allowed. Now, the only other thing that I was going to mention for Embarkation Day is just plan 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 when it comes to where you want to eat your food and when it comes to what you want to eat now one thing that i've seen today is that this is a very 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 busy ship and i fell for the cardinal sin which was go to the buffet on embarkation day now it wasn't until after i left the buffet that i found that they've got a little pizza um, takeaway at the back of the ship which i absolutely adore pizza but i just filled myself at the buffet so i'll take you up and show you that another day but it's a really good example of, I mean, I couldn't take you guys into the buffet with me today because it was so, so busy. And the pizza place was actually pretty quiet because most people like me, I imagine, just didn't know it was there. So yeah, maybe do a little bit of homework, try and avoid the buffet on day one. And that, generally speaking, will help you avoid crowds when you embark on your cruise ship. But yeah, hopefully that's been useful to give you a bit of a feel for the type of documents that you can expect to find when you board your Carnival Cruise. Now, my plan now, oh my goodness, if I spin this camera around, <laughs> I have currently got, I'm hoping you can see here, I've currently got my suitcase half exploding on top of the bed. So I am going to try and unpack quickly before my shower to then get freshened up and get ready for dinner. And I will walk you through the plan for tonight when I come back out. So yeah, give me five minutes and I'll be right back. Right, let's talk about tonight. So I am changed and ready to head out for dinner. Now, one of the things that most people message me, I get the most questions about it over on Instagram from people who have never been on a cruise before. And they tend to say, you look really casual in a lot of your videos. Do you get into trouble for that on a cruise ship? Because I've heard that they're quite like stuffy, they're quite formal. Absolutely not. Now, it depends on the cruise line because after this ship, I am cruising with Cunard. So I think... I think that is going to be a little bit different, but with some cruise lines, it's totally fine to be casual. So always check, again, in your schedule, it'll tell you what to wear. Now, in terms of what I'm wearing, because you can only ever see my top half in a video, I've just got this t-shirt on, so it's just navy and white striped t-shirt. I've then got, I'm not remotely flexible, but I've got my grey chino jeans on, and then all the way down to the bottom, I've got just a pair of Converse, like high top trainers on. So really really chilled 
Now, that's fine on Carnival tonight. Tomorrow night is a little bit smarter, but I still think that tomorrow will be super casual compared to a lot of other cruise lines. Now, anyway, the plan for tonight, which is what I was coming back to talk to you about because I don't want to take up any more of your time in the cabin, my plan is to head up for dinner now. So on the app, you've got the option of if you take the your time dining, they call it, which is basically you're not set to a, a tied, you're not tied to a set dinner time, which I think they've got an early sitting, a late sitting, or they've got between five and nine. If you're on your time, which is what I am, you can just book in and I think they call it check in now on the app. And at that point, you can go to the restaurant and get a table. So cross everything that that is going to work because it's currently about 7.30, so I'll be trying to get a table during what I think will probably be peak rush hour up in the dining room. Now, anyway, what could you get up to after that if you are spending a night on a carnival ship? Now, one thing that seems to be pretty clear to me is that there's going to be a good bit of life on here. Now, the events seem to finish tonight about 10.15, yeah, about 10.15 p.m., which feels early. But then uh, when you open up and you go to the music part of the program, you've then got all your late venues. So there's three venues on here that seem to be operating really late with the others sort of finishing around 11 p.m. or midnight. Now, in terms of activities you can get up to tonight, now I am going to do my infamous dinner and a show. Now, there's also a singles meetup that I'm hoping to get to because, yeah, I'm hoping it's not singles. I'm hoping it's solo travellers because to me, a solo and a single is a very different thing. So <laughs> watch this space. But anyway, the Welcome Aboard show is at 9.30 tonight. That is in the main theatre lounge. So looking forward to that. Well, the Liquid Lounge, I think that's the theatre. There's then a comedy show. I'm not going to make that because I'm at the Welcome Aboard. I think I might then head up and watch the movie by the pool deck tonight, which is Dungeon and Dragons. I don't know what that is, but I usually really enjoy a movie outside. There's also Rock the Promenade, which I think is like a rock party in the main promenade on the ship. Welcome aboard Bingo, welcome aboard Raffles, various events in the casino. There's a lot happening on here tonight, so I obviously can't show you everything. I'll show you exactly what I get up to, but I won't be able to show you everything. So you'll have to stay tuned for further episodes if you want to see more. But hey, look, for now, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty hungry, so let's head up to the dining room, which is just a couple of floors up from here. I'll show you my dinner and then I'll check in with you before the end of tonight. So yeah, let's head up. <laughs> Let's talk dining. Now, as soon as you get over the chaos of trying to enter the dining room, you could see out there, there were people everywhere. There were even people sitting and lying on the floor, waiting for their tables to be ready, which is something I've never seen on a cruise ship before. Anyway, once you get over that, actually the dining room is pretty similar to any other cruise ship dining room. I really enjoyed the dining experience in here. What I would say is that the food on offer isn't overly premium and you have to remember the price point that you're sitting at on this type of cruise. I'll cover pricing more in future videos so make sure that you are subscribed and you're following along ready to have a look at that. Now after dinner I took a walk around the ship and I would say that it felt as though the evening entertainment started off quite slow to begin with and then it seemed to ramp up massively after dinner. One thing that I did really appreciate was the fact that for quite a new cruise ship there are a number of big, big dance floors. This venue we're in here had a band playing almost all night and they've got a huge dance floor. So if you do like dancing and one of your criticisms of the newer ships is that you can't do that, then yeah, you might want to consider a carnival cruise, which I did not think I would be saying. Anyway, into the Liquid Lounge. This is the Welcome Aboard show, which was, <laughs> yes, very different to what I expected. I'm saying the word different a lot in these videos. Think family Christmas dinner games and that's basically what was on the stage here. It was a really good icebreaker with our cruise director so this is Dion on your screen now followed by a show from the production team. The show that we got was essentially a taste of what they were going to offer us later in the cruise. What I would say about Carnival's entertainment, generally speaking I was really really surprised and actually I was really surprised in a positive way because I thought, booking onto these cheaper cruises, you wouldn't really get much talent, but I was definitely wrong. 
Now, after the show, it was time for the rock party, which was out in the main atrium that I showed you just after embarkation. And yes, that is the cruise director on the bar. Now, what you will see in a second is a crowd of people to the left. And yes, before you ask, of course, they are doing more synchronised dancing that I had no idea what that synchronised dancing was. So I think I may be living under a rock because I didn't understand it here. And I also didn't understand it in the next venue either. Look at this. They're at it in here as well. I could not stop laughing at how much coordinated dancing was going on on this cruise ship. Please let me know what I'm missing. I absolutely love it and I wish I could take part. Okay, night one. Over. It seemed to be over in an absolute flash. Now, yeah, tonight, I've actually been so well behaved tonight, so I have got my Royal Caribbean <laughs> granted, but my Royal Caribbean branded cup of water that has kept me going all night. I had a drinks package on Navigator of the Seas last week, and yeah, this week I'm determined to have some kind of healthy eating slash healthy drinking purge. <laughs> so yeah. let's see if that goes to plan as we go through the cruise. That said, I've retired to my room tonight with a snack prior to going to bed, and that snack, which I'm hoping you can see nice and clearly, is a full pepperoni pizza. So shockingly i picked up two napkins up at the pizza counter so that people thought i was bringing it back for someone but <laughs> anyway now yeah tomorrow we are at sea all day and we're then at sea all day the following day so you probably won't hear from me now until we get to our first mexican port in two days time now hopefully you have enjoyed seeing a little bit of what life looks like on board a carnival ship in this episode. I don't know at the point of recording this what my next episode will be so make sure that you stay tuned to see loads more from on this ship and also loads more from the ports that we're going to this week. But yeah I think other than that I'm ready to say well first of all bon appetit followed by good night. But thank you so much for watching. It really does mean a lot to see this channel grow. I really enjoy bringing all of you guys with me on these ships. So thank you very much. And yeah, I'll catch up with all of you in my next video. Great. Cheers, guys. Bye.